Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. Fields this way up at the 17. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Give that sack to Kobe Dean. Now make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively. And not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're, they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. But they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback, maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit. Oh, well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll send the tight end in motion left. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Julio Acara working his way in and getting the tackle for loss. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great. Because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. Second and 13, Hurts. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. Romeo Acquai shooting him there and dropping him for the sack. Two plays so far, one and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Hurts. Looking right side, and that's complete to Watkins. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It'll be a pickup of 13, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. That's his first catch of the game, and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth, and the Lions will take over. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Go off on first down. He'll drop this one off to Swift. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. 
Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Second down, golf. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, sometimes an incompletion is the right play. And he showed that he's learned from his earlier interception on that throw. Instead of forcing it, he just tossed it away. Second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now gone. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football as they've got it with a first and ten. offense set to begin their next drive. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this goal? Around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Take it right down Broadway! And he'll be brought down at the 27 for an offense that has not found the end zone yet. That's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. Birds a handoff to Sanders. And he went backwards. 
Throw taken in by Watkins here. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line. Hurts. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. And the Lions are going to take over at their own 13 yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to nowhere to go here? He lost the football, and the Eagles have recovered. With no running backs in the backfield to help pass protect, all the receivers in their patterns, it's going to be hot routes if they sense a blitz or pressure on the quarterback. They've got to be prepared to break routes off early and get the football. In this case... Ah, never even had a chance. They popped the ball free in the backfield. They'll run with Sanders. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Here's Hurts to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give you unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try and get those yards a safer way. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins from eight yards out. And the Eagles are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Well, on that connection, it looked like they maybe had some replay communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something free play, and they got it done there. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw is gone. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A shotgun snap for Goff. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession of the football. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. 
Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and play the football. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. But first down, Hurts. And incomplete on the deep ball. This defense is going to have to finish the job. There's still a second half that they have to play. But so far, an absolute total effort. They've disrupted the passing game, stressed the pocket for the quarterback. They forced him into errant throws. Everything they're doing has been executed well. To throw on second and ten. Hurts. And this one's incomplete. Well, this is a half for not just the coverage, but the entire defense is setting the tone in this game. Watkins, the intended receiver, and it's third down. Let's go now. now right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Complete. Smith has it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. second half one touchdown apiece 7-7 seven, seven, our score very short kick taken right at the 20 and a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line offense set to begin their next drive. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm going to be on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new, shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Yeah. 
He'll look to throw. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. A give running left, it's Sanders. They find some open field here. Pushes him over, and he'll take this all the way down to the 15-yard line. A big play there for Philly, 45 yards. And a guy that can change the game shows you a glimpse of it right there, taking the ball down inside the red zone. It just tells you how tough it is for a defense. You just hold on all game and essentially hold your breath. Will they break a big one on us at any point during the game? It just happened right there. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, 15 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Elliott now to have the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Well, Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. From the best plays you've got to the top performers you have, and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. That's good for the Lions. Back to throw. Goff. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. 16 more yards. That's another He'll go right back to St. Brown. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the 20 yard line. On second down, Swift. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third, gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Swift. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Well, they move the ball down the 
field through the air, Charles, and then finally they get the running game involved, and it works to perfection. Touchdown. And, partner, I kept waiting for that running game to come into play and actually saved it until the very end. Touchdown goes on the stat sheet. You and I both know, and he knows as well. His teammates airing it out made this a successful drive. there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter. So we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half. Tied after the first two drives of the third quarter. One for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. A good pick up there, 21 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and ten, it's Hurts. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Throwing again on second and ten. Hurts looking left side for Watkins, and he's got him. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. This offense so far on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Back to throw again. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. He's up to 87 yards receiving now, and it's a first down. Throwing his hurts. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. 23 yards on the play. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars, and he came through with a nice catch right there. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles First touchdown. Jalen to Hurts A. finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. So, Charles, this game feels like it has been punch, counter punch all throughout. And that touchdown breaks our tie here in the fourth quarter. 
You're making me want to get back in the gym and start training again. You talk about those punches and counter punches. I also think this is where you and I start thinking to ourselves, who's going to make the play to change that, right? Who's going to get out of this little cycle that they're in right now and make a play and give their team a firm advantage? Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From the 10. The Lions take over at first down 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Golf now to throw. And he'll get this into the hands of Swift once again. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. There's Golf. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Options galore here. Second and a few inches. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. But that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. On first down, gone. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll be going down after 20 seconds. On first down, it's gone. He'll get this off to Swift. And he'll be brought down at the 27. It'll be a gain of just a yard. And that will bring up second down. to the running game with Swift. First down lands on a pickup of 13. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense, but I can't tell you. To watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking side. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jared Goff connecting with DJ Chark. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. Kick this one away. Very short kick taken right at the 20. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done.
And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. They'll look to throw. His throw incomplete. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Back to throw. Open man has got her to tight end. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. This is Smith with a grab. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And, partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Elliott on for the extra point. And that'll make this a six-point game. Makes the score Eagles 28, Lions 22. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And yeah, they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nice little drive. And now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now it's gone. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Second and 10. Goff now to throw. Williams brings it in. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. complete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play. One that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now gone. Oh, 
and that nearly ended him. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. And a great game comes down to this. Time for one play, and they've got to get it in the end zone. And I want every cover guy I've got in the game on defense, every extra defensive back who can make a play on the football. So whether it's nickel, dime, quarter, whatever you want to call it, I want five, six, seven guys back there. One last throw here for Gong. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the 